Harvard has responded to all of you that are calling for the firing of its president. That would be Dr. Claudine Gale. You see, Dr. Claudine Gale and other private institutions, these elite institutions and their presidents testified before Congress the other day. It was the hearing where Elise Stefanik was asking them to denounce anti-Semitism. Now we all know those presidents aren't rooting for Jewish students to be attacked on their college campuses. But that's the way Elise Stefanik and the Republicans twisted it. And as a result, as a result, some of these colleges and universities presidents have resigned, not Dr. Claudine Gale. And Harvard has come out with this statement. Our president, as members of the Harvard Corporation, we today reaffirm our support for President Gay's continued leadership of Harvard University. Our extensive deliberations affirm our confidence that President Gay is the right leader to help our community heal and to address the very serious societal issues we are facing. So many people have suffered tremendous damage and pain because of Hamas's brutal terrorist attack and the university's initial statement should have been an immediate, direct, and unequivocal condemnation. Calls for genocide are despicable and contrary to fundamental human values. President Gay has apologized for how she handled her congressional testimony and has committed to redoubling the university's fight against anti-Semitism. With regard to President Gay's academic writings, the university became aware in late October of allegations regarding three articles. At President Gay's request, the fellows promptly initiated an in independent review by distinguished political scientists and conducted a review of her published work. On December 9th, the fellows reviewed the results, which revealed a few instances of inadequate citation, while the analysis found no violation of Harvard's standard for research conduct. President Gay is proactively requesting four corrections in two articles to insert citations and quotation marks that were omitted from the original publications. In this tumultuous and difficult time, we unanimously stand in support of President Gay. At Harvard, we champion open discourse and academic freedom, and we are united in our strong belief that calls for violence against our students and disruptions of the classroom experience will not be tolerated. Harvard's mission is advancing knowledge, research, and discovery that will help address deep societal issues and promote constructive discourse, and we are confident that President Gay will lead Harvard forward toward accomplishing this vital work. Now, I must quickly mention the reason why calls for President Gay's um, firing, resignation, is because the same racist troll who used racist outrage to diminish Black Lives Matter and critical race theory is doing the same to Dr. Claudine Gay. Mm -hmm. He's boldly out there telling what it is that he's doing and how he is doing it. And everybody is climbing on board, calling for her firing or her resignation, including Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. And yet this happened to a Harvard student by the wife of one of Harvard's professors the other day. Between you and people who wanted to murder you. Hi, camera. Thank you for walking through neighborhoods and making families feel unsafe with your 
with your tourist spur. Palestinian, Palestinians felt pretty unsafe when Israelis occupied their country, you know. I'm not. Her name is Eve Gerber, and she is the wife to Jason Furman, who is a professor at Harvard University. And she is actively stalking and harassing a Palestinian student who's wearing a kafaya scarf. Mm -hmm. Jason Furman is also someone who worked with the Obama campaign. Y'all remember the Seldowitz dude that was has harassing the, the guy who was running his food truck? Yeah, seems like Obama had some Zionists working in his administration. Where's the outrage from Elise Stefanik? Is she making any, any speeches in regards to the safety of Palestinian students? Is she speaking out against Islamophobia? No, all I hear is crickets. So it's up to us to speak up for Palestinian students, Muslim students, and uh, against Islamophobia, and to hold those accountable who are doing shit like that. Her name again, Eve Gerber. Her husband, Jason Farmer, professor at Harvard University where they are calling for her resignation because of anti-Semitism. Okay, I gotta go. I'll see y'all later.